So today I'm going to try something new, something new on this channel. It's something that's quite exciting, I'm quite excited about it. Um, and hopefully it's it's going to be something new alongside the vlogs. This is new section called Game Reviews. So this is where I take new games, take new games that I've, that I've bought, take games that I've been recommended and just play them and see what I think. Uh, do I like them? Do I... Do I not like them? Why? Um, and yeah, just see where it goes. So today, the first one is going to be one that I think that is a rising star, and actually, well, it is a star as well. It's called Player Unknown's Battleground. Right. So, a couple of questions answered before I go any further. What medium am I playing on? PC. Always PC. Why? Why any, anything else? Um, game Player Unknown Battleground. What a game library am I using? Well, I'm using Steam. I like Steam. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people think it's it's a little bit. Once you're inside the ecosystem, you can't sort of come out. Um, I I really enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. It's brought me so much fun. And I so, what is Player Unknown's Battleground? Well, I haven't played it. This is going to be the first time I'm playing it. It is a game that I've been told, and from what I've read, sounds a lot like. Battle Royale, so it's like you get dropped into a particular area, you've got to scavenge, find things, make weapons, make tools in order to make weapons, find old cars, old vehicles, use them, and essentially find everybody else and kill them. One man standing, and that's hopefully going to be you. That's the idea of the game. Now, what makes this so appealing is the fact that I think that it is massively multiplayer. Everybody can join in from online. Every, anybody can play it. Uh, and the game is ridiculously cheap. I think it's £22. £22 it currently sits on uh, sits at on Steam. Which, for a game, it, that, that's nothing. I mean, games go up to £50, £60, £70. Pound. And I think this is probably going to be the next sort of big thing, I would have said. So, let's have a look. So when you start the game, you first have to enter your name. Once you've gone past that, you're now into character customization. So for this, it's just going to be quite basic customization, to be honest. Then we hit the left-hand side of the screen, and you can see all your friends that now play this game as well. You can share invites over here. Then if you click on the top left, it goes straight into the game. Now, a little quick splash screen, only about three to four minutes. Uh, well, not even that, about two minutes actually. And then you're straight into the lobby, then into the holding area, where you can run around and just basically act like a complete lunatic if you want to. There are weapons that you can grab, you can just go around and punch people. Everybody inside this lobby here, these are all the people you're going to be uh, playing against and wanting to kill. So, you can either go around and learn some of their names if you want to, or you can just do what I do, go around, grab guns and just shoot people. Um, it's pretty good in this area to start learning how, how the weapon dynamic works, so you can start firing weapons left and right. Now this screen is the next screen you're going to be taken through into the drop area. So your plane flies across the area and then you can then eject and uh, parachute down into a, a specific part of the island. You can also cu customize your holdout gear as well. Now, once you're parachuting down, your parachute, when it gets to about three quarters to the bottom of the gauge on the left hand side, it is going to open um, on its own. So, if you don't open it, it will automatically open. So, you're not going to hit the floor. So, don't worry about that. At this area, it's important to, I think, parachute into places where there are lots of buildings. That way, you can grab some stuff and start to get some weapons before you meet a load of other people. The parachute dynamic is pretty good. Uh, the wind as well, you find that you, you do, it does give the effect of it falling, of you actually falling with the parachute. Um, it would be quite nice if once this game has been, once this game has been released from early access, if the parachute would actually wobble a little bit to give the impression of wind. Now you can see there's a, a house here to my left. I'm going to run in there in a second and see exactly what's in there. And here we go, open the door, kick in, straight, you go straight in, and once you do that, you can then look around the place, grab some guns, or in my case, grab a scythe, uh, and <laughs> then you can just start, you've now got a weapon, and this particular weapon is pretty good for when people uh, start coming up to you, 
uh, you can at least defend yourself slightly. Look in the kitchen, run around other areas of the house and then once you've finished, quickly run out and go into other houses and start looking around there. Now, when you are doing this, it's very important to look through every room. You are going to pick up bandages, which is health, guns, ammo, as well as melee weapons and lots of different other things, as well as armour, helmets, vests as well. Dotted throughout the game, you will find some cars. These range from buggies like this to jeeps to cars to lots of other different things as well. Um, so it's important that you do use these to get through a lot of the map. Now, the cars I find are pretty useful apart from when you are turning corners it does feel as if you're aquaplaning even on dry land so that is something I would like to see the, peop uh, the, the developers tighten up between now and when the game is actually released properly uh, once again, once you have gone through various buildings, you're going to find yourself with a lot of different stuff. You use the keyboard keys 1 to 4 to cycle through your things, or press start, and you can just manually select things whenever you want to. But be warned, if you do this, people can come up behind you and shoot you in the back. A lot like this. So, there we go. This is just a quick look at, um, at Battlegrounds. I hope you've enjoyed, and please join me next time.